Hello everyone and welcome to this Angular testing course. I'm Akash, you're watching All About Code. This full series of Angular testing will help you to learn unit and end-to-end -end testing in Angular. During this course, we are going to make a small application from scratch that will also help you to learn some of the important Angular topics like input, output, change detection, etc. Since our main focus will be on testing, so first of all, we'll begin with some behavior-driven testing concepts. So we are going to talk about Jasmine, then we will apply the concepts to some simple Angular services. And moving forward, we'll be using some complex services such as HTTP-based services, which will fetch data from REST APIs. We'll also learn some advanced topic of testing in Angular. To create our test, we'll be using Jasmine. Jasmine is an open source testing framework for JavaScript. Jasmine is a behavior-driven testing framework. Behavior driven means these are written in non-technical language that everyone can understand. On the other hand, we are going to use Karma. Karma that is a task runner and browse our test reports into the browser. So when we create a project into Angular using Angular CLI, so we get Jasmine and Karma both pre-installed. As we can see here, I have created a project, Angular test project. So it's a new project here we can see we have app.component.css file, app.component.html file where we write our HTML code, app.component.spec.ts file. It is the place or it is the file where we are going to write our test. So without wasting any time, let's write our first test. So here I have taken two variables, constants from capacity that is set to 100 and students that is set to 80 and I have written two functions over here one is in student in student is like one is in student whenever any student enters in room then student count will be incremented by one and second one is out student when any student leaves the conference room then the student count will be decreased by one we need to write test for both the function for that we are going in our spec.ts file First of all, I'm going to remove all the pre-written code from here. So as we are using Jasmine as our testing framework, it provides a bunch of functions to write test. Two main functions that we are going to use the most. First one is describe, that is sweet. Second one is it, that is test or spec. It is also called as specification. So a group of specification is called test suite. So let's write our first test suite. So we are going to start by describe. Describe expects description. So we are going to write description student count. We will write our spec inside it. So spec will start by it and it also expects a string. So student count should increase by one. Here we are going to take a variable let student count is equal to we are going to write our test or spec for in a student so in a student decides in app component so we will importing the app component then i'm creating the second variable increment student that will use the instance student count dot in a student function from our app component then expect expect is the output that we're expecting increment student dot it should be equal to 81 because our starting value is 80 now i'm going to open up my terminal and i will write ng test over here hit enter what ng test does ng test compiles all our code as well as our specification 
and in the back end karma will open up the browser and run our test so the browser is open on 9876 port so karma is started and there is one spec zero failure it is in green color so student count should increase by one in the same way i am going to write my second test so i have written my second test that is for out student and it should be equal to 79 i am going to run it so it's two success we can go and see in browser both are in green color and both are there are two specs and zero failures now if you want we can make any of the spec in pending so like i can use pending function over here so as we can see there is one success and there are two specs zero failures one pending spec student count is our description in describe first one is in green color that will increase the count and the second one is in yellow color that will decrease so that is pending if you want we can fail any of the test as well so it is running one failed and one pass so in this way we create spec or test in our angular application this was just an example from the next video we are going to dive in some complex examples so thanks for watching this video we will meet in next video